Okay, now as far as the uh, veneer repair, uh, I'm going to get started on that. Uh, right in this uh, one corner, uh, it's pretty much all missing in this one corner. I'm going to take all of this off, back to here. And then on the sides, um, some of it was uh, popping off. So we're going to end up taking all the uh, veneer off this, this, the uh, edges. Uh, some of it's uh, a little bit loose still. There's only a couple pieces left. So I'm going to put all new veneer on the uh, edges. I'm going to take those uh, pieces I took off the sides to uh, patch in the uh, front. And these uh, pieces from the edge are going to fill in right here. I can square up the edges and uh, use these just to fill in this uh, corner. And some of these uh, pieces from the side, I'm going to uh, fill in the chips here. Okay, now I'm working on that area on the front. I took those pieces and uh, squared up the edges. And using a veneer hammer to press them into place, I'm using hot hide glue. Lay them in the glue, wet the front. And use the hammer to press the pieces into place. And the glue tacks up very quickly so the veneer stays in place. Here for the edges, I've got a piece of uh, 3 quarter inch mahogany and I cut pieces that are 3 quarter inches long. Now I'm going to do is uh, edge slice strips out of these pieces. Now I'm moving on to the edges. Uh, do this the same way. Apply glue to the edge and the piece of veneer. And it's going to take three pieces to do the side. And I'll once again wet the front so the piece doesn't curl. And then use the veneer hammer to press it into place. And I'm going to clamp it overnight just to hold the pieces in place. Alright, I got the clamps off. Uh, it was clamped overnight. Uh, now just trimming the veneer down flush. First with the uh, hand plane. And then follow up with the mill file. Alright, now I'm going to tackle those uh, screw holes. Trying to chisel them out uh, square, but uh, a little piece broke off at the end there. So I ended up going all the way to the bottom of the uh, post. Then made the little patch to fit in the hole. Alright, then planed it flush. then finished up with the cabinet scraper. Now I'm using the cabinet scraper on the top, uh, first tackling those uh, cracks, getting those uh, 
slivers of flesh. And then go over the whole top with a cabinet scraper. Also the sides and the fronts, including leveling out those veneer patches. and then hand sanded the entire piece with 150 grit paper. And here's the corner that I patched in with pieces from the edge and it matches perfectly. All right, all done with the repairs, all done with the sanding. Now it's ready for the finishing room. All right, I've got uh, two coats of shellac on. Um, I usually do that first, uh, just to see what the color is going to look like. And the color is going to be uh, fantastic. Uh, I don't have to do any staining. Just a few touch-ups where the uh, filled in the cracks here. Just got to darken up these. Uh, strips a little bit and of course the stretchers okay here's the uh, shelf you usually have to put a uh, die in the wood uh, to undertone uh, I don't have to do that in this case uh, this uh, mahogany has uh, plenty of orange color to it all I have to do is um, color the wood to uh, bring it up to the color of the rest of the piece now I'm going to take a 320 paper and uh, scuff sand the entire piece. Okay, I tacked off the dust. Uh, Cheesecloth and some alcohol. Now I'm ready for a third coat. After that I'll start doing the touch-ups. Now I'm going to tint some shellac uh, for the uh, shelf. I want to start uh, darkening that up. Display I uh, use the Pigments, mix some pigments in. And I'm going to start coloring in the crack here. So again, mixing some uh, dry pigments. Okay, now the next coat on the shelf. A little different uh, mix of pigments. Basically adding a little bit more Van Dyke Brown into it. And also a little bit of black. And that's gonna be pretty much there. All right, I got a couple more coats of shellac on after that last coat of color. I think we're good there on color. A little, a little distressing uh, before the finishing uh, with the file on the edges. But I still want to add some more uh, distress marks uh, to start to make it look old. It uh, Right now it still looks like a, a new piece of wood. So just a uh, liner brush. Uh, Get some Van Dyke Brown and just go through and uh, add some small distress marks. And 
and especially along the edges. And you can throw in a couple scratches. Okay, right here, this is the inside corner next to the leg. Um, I want to uh, darken this area a little bit, uh, make it look like it's uh, kind of dirty in this corner. Then also uh, darken the edges. And take this uh, larger brush and kind of dab some spots, larger spots on the surface and even on the edges. Now I go inside and uh, color in that stretcher. To match the wood on the underside of the top. And even the bottom of the rails. This I want it to look like a sort of grayish aged wood. So I mix up some colors to give sort of a grayish. And also do the same thing to the uh, shelf, the bottom of the shelf. Okay, I'm all done. Um, finished the shellacking. I ended up putting about uh, six coats on. And then uh, followed up with uh, rubbing it down with steel wool and then a coat of paste wax. Got the legs back on and repaired the posts. And made a shelf out of mahogany for the bottom and then distressed it and aged it to look like it's always been there. I installed the shelf with cut nails and filled the holes with a wax filler. I uh, did repairs on the top and uh, filled those cracks and repaired those cracks on the side. Adding a strip to the bottom of the bottom drawer, it was catching on the front here. And uh, replaced the knobs. Uh, these are a reproduction knob uh, for mail order. Uh, these are very similar to the originals. Uh, I got a question on why I didn't save the originals. Um, they were pretty well uh, banged up. Uh, and one of them didn't match. So there was really no choice in uh, replacing them. Now a couple of these aren't too bad. Uh, I might be able to use them on another piece. <laughs>